Um, my maternal ancestors are from the Western Armenian town of Arapgir, which is in Malatya, and uh, Gesarya, present-day Kayseri in Turkey. And my paternal ancestors came from the Cilician Armenian villages of Musadagh or Musader. Um, it's quite interesting, uh, their story during the genocide. Uh, my maternal grandmother's father was about seven years old uh, during the genocide and um, he was left for dead while his uh, other members of his family were massacred. Um, it was only after three days after his village got ransacked that a Turkish family found him and took him in and um, he lived for, uh, under the protection of a Turkish family for about three years until his mother and um, younger sister came to uh, came and found him and eventually rescued him. Um, my maternal grandmother's mother was born in 1915. Most of her family was slaughtered, but she ended up surviving. My maternal grandfather's uh, dad was uh, his village's only tailor, and that is why he got spared. Um, he was spared because he was good at his uh, trade, and um, that's how he survived. And my grandfather's mother was about seven, and most of her family died. She was one of the sole survivors of her family. Um, my paternal ancestors, like I said, uh, came from Musadagh. And uh, for those who don't know, Musadagh was one of the areas um, that uh, resorted to self-defense during the Armenian Genocide. Uh, the story goes that for about 53 days, the villages of Musadagh assembled and uh, sought refuge on uh, Moses Mountain, on Musadagh, and uh, retaliated against the Turks. Um, of course, it was um, brought to light uh, with um, the 40 Days of Musadagh, written by Franz Warfel. And uh, the story ended up uh, being a national bestseller and um, got turned into a movie and so forth. Um, my ancestors, my direct ancestors, my grandfather and my grandmother, uh, were on that mountain during that self-defense. My grandpa was seven years old and along with his family members um, climbed the mountain. And my grandma would have been about six months old. And uh, I, I was lucky enough to hear the first-hand account of my grandmother's sister, Elmast, uh, when I went to visit in uh, 2004 with my father. We visited her in Lebanon, in Anjar, and that is where she told us a story about how at seven years old she was responsible for holding my six-month-old grandmother on that trek up the mountain. And um, she told me how Three separate, on three separate occasions, um, they had left my grandmother under a tree because she wouldn't stop crying and it was, um, it was difficult for them to go on. And um, that three times they returned to, to, to save her. And um, I guess that, that's part of my legacy. That, that's how I'm here today. Um, I owe it to that. Like I said, my grandpa was about seven years old. And uh, luckily, the members of both my grandfather's family and my grandmother's family survived because of the self-defense. <laughs>